Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Last weekend, my boyfriend and I celebrated our four-year, ten-month anniversary in the Half Moon Bay area of California, and we vlogged the entire day. Come check out the unique things we did and the amazing Spanish dinner we had. We hope it provides you with inspiration on what to do for future dates. So come check it out and share the love with us. In the morning, we stopped by downtown Pescadero, a small town located two miles away from the beach. We stopped by a cafe called Downtown Local for some coffee, or Cafefe. The interior of this cafe was so groovy and cool. It's too bad we couldn't stay inside for long. They had the clever idea of opening the window so they could hand off drinks. So excited for my Cafefe. So Ren ordered the Africano and I got the cafe latte with a wee bit of sugar. So I got my cafe latte, let's see how it is. Mmm, it's really good. How's your Africano? Earthy, delicious. It's waking me up. Next, we stopped by a small farm called Harley Farms, also in Pescadero. Look at all the cute farm animals we saw. What we really came for were the goodies sold in their shop. We came for their organic honey straight from the beehives, and we even picked up some cheese we found in the shop. We love cheese. Then we stopped by another farm called r, r Farms right up the road. Their store was filled with such colorful, organic produce and products. Ow! 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 Ow, oh, that hurt. <laughs> we actually came here for strawberry picking. Let's go check out the field. And over here is where you can pick the strawberries. Let's get this guy first. Ooh, this looks like a big one. Ooh. Found a really good one. Yeah, this one looks nice. Hi. You're a strong guy. Hiya! Made it to the beach. All right, here it is. We were told it's gonna be busy, but it's not that busy today. Final place to sit. So we're gonna sit on my lovely windshield covers here because that's all we have. All right, gonna shut up shop. This dill chef. It looks like it is so packed with dill. Dill is my favorite herb. So, oh my God, it smells so incredible. So much herb. Can't wait to dig into this. So the dill cheese by itself is super dilly. Um, now I'm gonna try some of it on the strawberries. So here we go. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. So the dill cheese is a bit tart, and it pairs so well with this naturally sweet strawberry. Mmm. Wow. That's a pretty good pairing. Mmm. It's good. Going in with the chopsticks. Okay. All right. That's good. So what do you think of the dill cheese with strawberry? As you mentioned, tart from the cheese, but the sweetness pairs so well with the tart and the saltiness of the cheese. And also got some whiskey. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Another fun thing to do on the beach: smoke a cigar. Spicy. Goes well with the scotch, huh? Indeed. Compliments the sweetness of the scotch. Yeah. After some quality time at the beach, we made it to Palo Alto for a romantic Spanish dinner at Teleferique, Barcelona. Finally got seated. This is a pretty cool spot. Right next to the open kitchen. There's the open kitchen here. You see the bar over there. It's very lovely. Got some nice decor over here. To start, we got some sangria and a gin and tonic. I'm gonna try the sangria with gin. See how it is. Mm. Mm. It's sweet. 
Month cured Iberico ham, and we got some pulpo with truffle oil. Now I'm gonna try the pulpo, the octopus. See how it is. Mmm. Very soft on the inside. A little bit crispy on the outside. Mmm. No, the truffle oil on this uh, pulpo is just amazing. Mm. Mm. That's lovely. Now to dig into this beautiful 38 month cured Iberico ham. So this is the 38 month cured Iberico ham. Let's give it a try. Wow. Mmm. Wow, holy smokes. Mm. Wow. I can almost taste the, the gaminess of the Iberico ham itself. It is like it's smoky, it's gamey, it's meaty. Mm. Wow. That is amazing. Here I am just putting some rosemary. More of the Iberico ham with some rosemary. I'm just gonna go right in. Mm. Even better with rosemary. What do you think of the Iberico ham? That literally melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. And um, like I said, it's smoky, it's gamey, it's salty, a little bit sweet, and, and then it just melts in your tongue. Next, we have the Corte Iberico, which is bone marrow with hanger steak and fried potatoes. Let's see how it is. Now it is time for this beautiful hanger steak. Let's see how it is. Mmm. Oh my god, that's lovely. Mmm. It's juicy. It's a little buttery. It's got a nice amount of salt, not too little, not too much for flavor. Mmm. Screw it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for my second one. Good hanger steak. What do you think of the hanger steak, babe? I can't get enough. <laughs> I wish I had 12 more pieces. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Perfect medium rare. Perfect medium rare hanger steak. Now it is on to the bone marrow. I love bone marrow. Let's see how it is. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of bone marrow. I really, really like bone marrow, so let's see how this goes. Probably not my favorite bone marrow. I, I, I think I prefer the hanger steak a little bit more. What do you think of the bone marrow? I've had better as well. Yeah. Um, but it's still good. Yeah. But the hanger steak is really, really good. So bone marrow, not so much. Hanger steak is awesome. What is interesting though is they put the zest of the lime with the bone marrow. And that's one thing I haven't Oh had. yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll have to try with that, yeah. And finally, the pièce de résistance and their bestseller, the lobster paella. You've got to try paella when eating at a Spanish restaurant. About to try the lobster paella. So excited for this. Here we go. a meaty lobster. Mmm. Gonna get some more of the paella here. Wow. Mmm. And that rice is seasoned so well. Mmm. That is good. What do you think of the paella, babe? Can we have three more plates? <laughs> <laughs> I need three more stomachs. <laughs> it is damn good. The seafood is cooked perfectly. Mm -hmm. The lobster I'm about to dive into with the cream right over here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The lobster is really meaty, right? Very meaty lobster. 
and it pairs so well with all the other seafood that they paired into here. Yeah, that is a good paella, folks. Mm. We could easily devour this, right? Easy. Easy. That's why it's like three more, please. <laughs> oh, so cute. Looks like a heart. We got us this almost heart shaped brownie for dessert. Some MMs on it. Oh, how cute. That is it for today's vlog. We are finally back home after our date today. I think it was absolutely excellent. Uh, we got to explore Pescadero, and we worked our way up to Half Moon Bay towards Martin's Beach. And uh, like Steph said, we actually got to have some Spanish tapas today. And uh, I would say my highlight of food was the beta guayam. So thank you everyone for watching our date slash vlog. We hope that you enjoyed it. We hope that it gave you some potential ideas for future dates with your partners. And let us know in the comments below what you enjoyed. Do you want to see us do this again? Do you want to see us go on more dates and give you some more tips? Let us know. Yes, and last but not least, happy four years and 10 months, sweets. Happy anniversary, babe. So thanks so much for watching everyone. Please remember to like and subscribe and we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Cheers.